Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Jeremy and I remember when I bought my first guitar, how the world of guitar accessories was, it was just so daunting. I didn't even really know where to begin. I do remember acquiring several guitar accessories and knowing what I know now, I really just couldn't live without these things. These are basically accessories that you might as well just go and buy now. Okay, let's do this. A capo. All right, so we have capo, you're gonna need a capo. A guitar capo clamps down on a fret so you can change the key of the song by maintaining the same chord shapes used to play the song. If you plan on singing on top of playing, these little things are invaluable. Once you learn how to play a song with open chords, you can basically just move your capo along the fretboard to change the key of the song without changing the chord shapes. They come in all shapes and sizes, but essentially they all do the same thing. So just remember that when you put a capo on your guitar, you're gonna need to retune your guitar. The capo is gonna put enough pressure on the strings to make it go out of tune. So if standard tuning for a guitar is E, A, D, G, B, E, and let's say you put your capo on the, the seventh fret, then your new tuning is gonna be B, E, a, D, F sharp, E. So you're gonna wanna tune to that. But these things are awesome. Highly recommend getting them. Next on the list are picks. Picks are such an important accessory that it might even be your first guitar accessory you buy. Unless you make the commitment to play fingerstyle guitar, you're probably gonna wanna pick up a set of picks. A lot of times they come in packs of 12 and can range from anywhere to $4 a set to upwards of $20 a set, depending on what type of material they're made of. If I were you, I'd stick with just regular plastic picks. They do the job, they feel great. I like these Fender Perloid picks. They look cool and they also are fairly cheap. They're not that expensive. And they come in a lot of different gauge sizes. The gauges just mean how thick the picks are. It might be good to experiment here, but I basically like to just stick with medium and if I need a harder pick, I'll go up one. When you buy a new guitar, you're gonna want a guitar stand. This one is often overlooked, I would say, but it's really an important accessory. I hear tons of people saying that they haven't taken their guitar out of the case in weeks, and I know exactly the reason. The little bit of effort it takes to get the guitar out of the case is just enough for most people to even hinder them from playing the guitar at all. It's sort of an out of sight, out of mind mentality. If the guitar is not easily accessible, then the likelihood of you playing it goes way down. So keeping your guitar out and within reach is crucial to you actually playing it every day. Like, all right, so I know, I, I know, people will tell you that you need to keep your guitar in your case to save it from humidity and temperature changes. And it's true. Humidity and temperature changes, well, uh, it won't necessarily damage your guitar, but it might make it go out of tune and might make it so that you need to adjust the truss rod every now and again. But if that keeps you from playing your guitar, it's not a good enough reason to keep it in the case. Get a stand. Next up, we got a clip-on tuner. These things are so cheap and accurate nowadays that they basically just clip on your guitar headstock and sense how fast the vibrations are on your headstock. The vibrations are measured in frequencies, so if the headstock vibrates at 440 times a second, that would be the note A. I don't know if any of you have ever heard of 440A, but that's kind of standard pitch. You don't need to worry about any of that, that's just how they tune, but the more you use your tuner, the faster you're gonna be able to tune your guitar by ear. So I still rely on a tuner, but I can get kind of close by just using my ear. All right, so here's a guitar accessory I use every single day. And I think not a lot of people really know this exists or acknowledge this as a valid guitar accessory that you're gonna need, but bear with me. I even kind of debated on putting this on the list, but a pick holder. These things are so cheap and they really do make life a little bit easier. So in your guitar lifetime, you're gonna lose picks. That's just a fact of being a guitarist. And if you have an oriental rug, you'll never find those picks ever again until you vacuum those picks up and they make the sound of Satan as they rattle through the brush head of the vacuum until they eventually find their way into the bag. 
Cue the pick holder. The pick holder tapes onto your guitar and allows you to store picks on your guitar where they're easily accessible. I like to put mine where the neck meets the body of the guitar, but it doesn't really matter. You can put it anywhere you want. These things are awesome. This one is near and dear to my heart. If you've been watching this channel for any amount of time, you're gonna know why. Strings. Strings are super important for your guitar and they really do make an impact on the playability and tone of your instrument. So some strings are coated with a thin film that help prevent squeaks, but more importantly, it helps the string feel smoother to your fingertips. Strings can also be made of different materials, but most have a steel core with a wrapping that's basically a mixture of phosphor and other different alloys. I'm not sponsored here, just letting that out there but my favorite strings are elixirs because basically they have a nice coating to them, they sound awesome, they're durable, they last forever. Um, but check out my other string videos to dive into that rabbit hole. String gauge is also something you're gonna wanna check out, but you can always check out my video here to learn all about string sizes and string gauges. All right, so those are my must-have guitar accessories. Honestly, if you have a guitar, just buy them. <laughs> just buy them right now, they're cheap enough. Um, you're gonna need them anyways down the line. And this is just gonna save you the trouble of going through the process of needing them, but not having them. I know how super annoying that can be. Anyway, hey, thanks for checking out the video. Hit the like button if you found this helpful. Subscribe if you're new and leave a comment. And let me know if there's something that should be on the list that I didn't mention. And I wanna hear what you guys have to say about that. So thanks for checking out the video. I'll see you.